And welcome back to the CS Podcast. I am your host, Chris Shanfell, and I am now joined by 2014 NFL Draft Prospect out of Southern Illinois, linebacker Brian Presume. It's a pleasure to have you back on the show, Brian. How's it going, man? Uh, thanks for having me. It's, everything's going good. Uh, just got done training for the day a few hours ago. Uh, glad you had me on the show. Hey, it's a pleasure. Now, last time we, uh, last time I had you on the show, you told me that your personal expectations for your final college football season was to have over 100 tackles and have at least 10 game-changing plays. Uh, well, you finished the season with 104 tackles, 12 and a half tackles uh, for losses, and three sacks. And I also remember a big play that you had uh, when you not only blocked the kick against Western Illinois, but you returned it about 80 yards for a touchdown. Uh, would you say that you met or even exceeded your expectations? Expectations for this past season? Uh, I'll say I kind of met them a little bit. Uh, probably, obviously, you can always play better and make more plays, but uh, I think I got the, uh, I know I got the 100 uh, tackle mark that I was going for, obviously. And uh, also, I believe I made 10 uh, game changing plays, you know, throughout the year. So I think I met my expectations and I think I had a pretty solid year. All right, and I see you guys open up the season against the University of Illinois. I mean, that's a pretty nice, big opponent to start the season off. Uh, would you say that, you know, this was the most excited yourself and the Southern Illinois Salukis were to start a season during your time there? Uh, I, think it, I think it was, you know, uh, that was a big game for us. We came in and competed real well, you know, took those guys down to the wire. Uh, you know, got everybody on the team, you know, made a big, big impact in that game and, you know, we just went all the way down to the wire. But uh, we had a pretty good season as well. You know, we played some tough teams, tough opponents. And uh, I think that kind of gave us the, the starting point for the season and led us in the right direction. Right yeah, you, that they, that game against the Fighting Illini certainly did go right down the wire. Unfortunately, you guys fell forty-two to thirty-four, and uh, you know you you guys had a uh, you guys had to get ready for another big game against the Eastern Illinois Panthers, which uh, you know it, it's another big game on the schedule. Uh, and the Eastern Illinois versus Southern Illinois game couldn't have been any. Uh, any closer? I mean, it went into double overtime. Unfortunately, you guys were on the uh, on the wrong end of that overtime uh, game, forty to thirty-seven, and you recorded fifteen tackles in that game. Uh, and of course, Brian, as we know, you know you're, you're in the state of Illinois, and as we know, the Panthers have a few guys that have been getting a lot of attention, mainly quarterback Jimmy Garoppolo. And as somebody who went head to head against Jimmy G, what are your thoughts on the quarterback? You know, here's a question for you. You know, you guys have a pretty good quarterback in uh, Corey Faulkner. And, you know, li like you said, there's no doubt Jimmy G has a lot of success. But, you know, when you guys played the Fighting Illini and Eastern Illinois, Corey Faulkner outplayed those two quarterbacks, uh, Nathan Shieldhouse and Jimmy Garoppolo. Uh, why do you think there's, you know, so much attention on many other smaller schools, but not Southern Illinois? And does it bother you at all, Brian? Yeah, you know, stuff like that always bothers us. You know, we play in a real tough conference, you know, North Dakota State, Youngstown, everybody that we play in our conference all have good uh, NFL caliber players. And, you know, we always seem to get the, the shorthand of the stick on that one. But, you know, uh, it, I can't really, can't really get too much into it, but, you know, Corey's a real good player. Uh, really came on his senior year uh, this year with me, uh, you know, fellow captain as well with me this season. And uh, he did everything he could to put our team in the best situations to win every to win week in, week every week, every week that we played this this uh this year. And uh if he did have an injury that held him out of you know, a few maybe all American, all conference awards, but uh, he's he came on strong throughout the whole season and I think he's gonna be uh, a real good draft draft prospect this year as well. And I'm just getting a lot of a lot of love right now. He just got invited to the Medal of Honor Bowl, I believe it is, and he's going to show out up there too. 
Yeah, absolutely. I, I think there's a lot of success coming towards his way as well. And, you know, you actually hit it right on the nail in that explanation of yours, Brian. And you, you said that you were a captain of the uh, Southern Illinois Salukis football team. What does that mean to you? Well, it meant a lot. You know, uh, uh, I was a junior college guy coming in, so I was only there for a couple of years. And just to be able to gain the respect of my teammates at such a, such a short time period, a lot to me, and uh, I try to do everything I could to help them team in the best situations to to win. You know, I was not the most vocal leader, but I when I needed to be vocal, I was. You know, I had to do what I had to do. Uh, it, meant, it meant a lot to me. Chris Shanfell talking with 2014 NFL Draft prospect Brian Presme out of Southern Illinois. And Brian, the last time you were on the show, you also told me that the game that you were looking forward to the most was against uh, South Dakota State, and you were able to record 10 tackles in that game, and the Salukis got the 27-24 victory. Uh, why exactly was this the game that you are looking forward to the most? Uh, really just because of the year before. Uh we were in position to go to the playoffs and they knocked us out on a, a, a game winning drive, a 99 yard game winning drive. And it was a crazy game, crazy ending. Um, it was just really a game that I was really just, a, just wanting to get back at them a little bit for the, the kind of, kind of the heartbreak they gave us the following the previous year. And that's really mostly why I was, uh, ready for them. Season. Well, as I said, you guys did get the victory. You, you feel you kind of punched them back in the mouth with that victory? A little bit. It was their, their home coming too as well. And it was a horrible, horrible conditions throughout the game. It was raining and muddy, muddy everywhere. So it was mostly in their favor for, for the win, you know, just because that's more of their style of, style of play, I guess. Uh, style of weather, I guess you can say. But uh, it felt pretty good getting back at them a little bit. And speaking of the, the you know the climate, what what is your favorite uh, type of climate to play in? Is it the snowy weather that we have here in Chicago right now? Is it the uh, you know seventy five eighty degree weather, sunny? What what is your favorite type of uh, climate to play in, Brian? Uh, actually, I like kind of playing in like mid sixties in that area. You know, real comfortable, not too hot, not too cold. You know, get a get a little breeze in, kind of in that area. All right, and Brian, I see the the SIU Salukis ended the season seven and five, and I know it's always a good uh, a good thing to finish with a winning record. And unfortunately, like you mentioned earlier, you guys suffered some injuries, and uh, I actually thought you guys were a better team. Uh, a be you guys, I thought you guys were better than a seven win team. Uh, I'm, I'm actually sure you feel the same way. With that being said, uh, how exactly would you describe your final college football season and your overall experience at Southern Illinois? Now, I know you've been, uh, like you said earlier, you've been training and, uh, you know, you're, you're going to be uh, entering the 2014 NFL Draft. How excited are you for, you know, all this to take place? Well, I'm really excited. I'm hearing, I'm hearing some pretty good things, uh, possibly free agent deal for me looking right now. You know, my pro day is really going to really determine a lot for me. Uh, if I can run pretty good and test pretty well, I start to run pretty well. And um, I'm really excited. Um, it's a dream of mine that I've been wanting to pursue since I was a little kid and able to take this opportunity now and, you know, hopefully fulfill that, that dream. It's, it's a real humbling experience and I'm, I'm excited for it. 
Now, now, have you ever put this into thought that the next time you suit up for a game that, you know, it, it will be for an NFL team? Because I, I have all the all the faith in you that you will indeed, uh, you will indeed uh, achieve your goal and uh, make it to the NFL, Brian. You always think about it, you know, all the time, but uh, you just try not to really make too much of a big deal about it. But it's always in the back of my mind, you know. I'm, like I said, it's a dream that I've always wanted to wanted to come true. I'm just glad for the opportunity to hopefully fulfill it. Hey, Brian, you know, it's been a pleasure speaking with you, man. I, I'm excited to see what's coming your way because uh, it's going to be a lot of success. I sure hope we keep in touch, and I'm, I'm really wishing you nothing but the best, man. Thanks a lot for your time. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thanks for having me as well. Hey, take care, Brian.